All right, Michael Brown here from michaelsbrown.com, and I'm going to try to make it through this video again. This is the third time I've tried to record this today, dealing with the nice, lovely winter cold, and it's got its grasp fully on me right now. So let's try this again. What <laughs> what I'm going to present to you today is uh, the upgrade for Keyword K K9 2.0. Now, if you've watched uh, my other videos before on Keyword K9, you'll know I, I love the tool. It's a tool that makes finding um, keywords for various different niche markets or even finding uh, niche markets to get into themselves. Uh, this tool makes it easy to get find things to get into because it helps you determine if they're going to be hard, if they're going to be moderate, or if they're going to be easy to rank for. So I'm going to give you a, uh, an overview and a tutorial of this product today. It's one I absolutely love. So let's get started. The first thing you can do here is come down to uh, keywords. Okay, you can select your country code here if you're um, in the U.S. or U.K., uh, wherever you're at. You simply put this into the box, okay, and that way you can look up based on your country. So you don't always have to look at um, United States info, which some of the tools out there, they make it hard because they they only list it uh, by the U.S. Um, rankings, and you might want to rank somewhere else, okay? Very simple. So select your country. And then in, uh, enter your keywords here, and I'm going to do uh, cat boxes as a demonstration, and click analyze. <clears throat> okay, and this will just load up the analysis of the keywords. And I'll just break this down for you. What's really cool here, you can see instantly, it's going to tell you if the keyword is hard, okay, or if it's easy, or if it's moderate. So if it's hard, um, it, it might not be something good, especially if you're brand new to get into. Now, the good thing about a hard keyword is that usually means there's a lot of competition. And where there's a lot of competition, it usually means there's a lot of money. Otherwise, it's usually not competitive. That is the good part about hard keywords. Um, you can see on here, it also gives you a, it breaks down the rank by number. The lower the left-hand number, the better, and the right hand is always going to be 100 because it always gives you an out of 100 score. So a 58 out of 100, you can see that's over midway, so it's going to be a hard keyword. Now what this does is it gives you the rankings right here, global monthly searches, and then it also gives you the um, AdWords cost per click data. And what you can use this for is to determine if a, a keyword is um, worthwhile to rank, to rank for if you're like in AdSense and things like that. Now, I, I know a lot of people watching this, you might not be in the AdSense, so that really has no uh, not much relevance for you. Um, but if you do use AdSense on your site, this gives you an estimate of what you might be able to make. And uh, some experts say to cut that in about half is what you what you make, or a little under half. I really don't know the exact number, so I can't give you an exact figure of how much you're going to make every time someone clicks on one of your AdSense ads that's on your site. It will vary from time to time. But this just gives you an idea of what advertisers are paying at least for that keyword. Okay, the next thing over here is it will uh, tell you if there's any local searching for it. Um, it'll give you a result count inside of uh, Google. So that means how many pages are showing for this keyword uh, that have this keyword in it as a broad match. And there's 14 million um, on this particular one. And on this one, the quoted count is how many pages showing in Google have this uh, keyword exact match. So uh, for cat boxes, okay? Again, that's what we're looking at. Uh, I never really look at result count or quoted count, uh, but they are there. Okay, the next uh, uh, metric here is average keyword canine rank. Now, what this is, it's similar to Google's page rank, except it's the keyword canine tools rank. Um, because a lot of people speculate that uh, Google page rank will be going away sometime in the near future, but... Uh, when you're doing keyword research, it's still helpful to know. The higher this number, the more competitive. Uh, the lower this number, the less competitive. So uh, this goes from a scale of 0 to 10. 
So if it's below one, uh, it's easy. If it's below uh, or if it's above, uh, you know, like you start getting up in the five, six, it starts getting hard. Um, gives you the average page links that are down here uh, for each, basically the average of all the, the pages added up on here, averaged out. So um, when you're trying to rank for a keyword, you're ranking by page, not by site, but by page. So it breaks the average page links down for you. So this one, you know, I'm just going to show you a quick little demonstration here. This one has 18 uh, backlinks coming into it. So this particular page has 18 backlinks. This one has 15. This one has 15. And let's get down to a bigger one here. Okay, and this one here uh, has 2,000. So this one has 2,000 coming in. So you can, from this data, you can see basically what's pushing the ranks up. Now the ones that have uh, very few page links coming in to that actual page uh, they're usually getting pushed up by being an authority site and having thousands of backlinks. And as you can see, uh, this one here has 355,000 site links. So it's got a lot of site links coming to the overall domain, not, not specific to this page, not this particular page, but to the domain so every page added up. So sometimes these pages in here from authority sites get boosted up nicely without having a whole lot of links because they have a lot of authority. You can build your domain up to do that as well. So you just build your uh, backlinks coming to your domain up and then you also build your page links up. The uh, next factor is average site links and I just mentioned what site links are. Site links are how many backlinks are coming to the entire domain, so the entire website. And again, that does help in your rankings. It's not the biggest determining factor, but it is one of the factors. Uh, then it tells you what site, it will tell you what the lowest page links are on uh, this keyword. And then it will tell you what the lowest site links are for this particular keyword. Again, we're looking at cat boxes right now. The other thing that's really cool about this tool is it tells you if there's a domain available in case you want to buy in case you want to buy an exact match domain it will tell you if there's a domain available for that so uh, for instance there is uh, .info and a .us cat boxes so you could get catboxes.info or catboxes.us, but .com, .net, and .org are taken. Uh, exact match domains still work really well in the search engines. So uh, I know there's a lot of speculation about that, but they still work really well as long as you have good content on your website. So make sure you're writing good content or you're getting good videos and getting good uh, images and things of that nature up onto your website. Okay, so that's just an overview of what you can do under the niche or the analyze area. You can also select another keyword uh, down here from the related keywords area. And let's say <clears throat> if we were to select cat boxes in pregnancy here and see what that brings up. <laughs> you get my cat just meowed for you guys too. So why we're talking about cat boxes, my cat meows, which is priceless. <laughs> okay, so um, this one you can see is ranked easy. It's got a 33.81 out of 100, uh, 12 global monthly searches, so it has a lot less searches, um, and it does have a domain open. So you could go buy this domain right away, and you could start ranking for it, and it would probably this one would probably be extremely easy to rank for. So that's what this tool helps you do. It helps you determine how easy um, the keywords are to get ranked for. And if you already have an existing site, it's great to, to look up additional long-tailed keywords to build uh, pay, more pages around. Now, let's look at some of the other cool stuff with this because uh, there's so many neat things that they've added to this that there's so much to go through. I'm going to try to just break it down as quickly as possible. Uh, so this video is not, you know, 45, 50 minutes long. I want you to be able to, to understand how to use it and get in and use it without having to watch an hour-long, you know, video about all this. Uh, the next area is something called niches. And if you're, let's say you're struggling to find a niche market to get into, uh, you want something to build a small or a, even a large website around, and you don't know where to go, click the niche icon, and you'll be able to come in here and find uh, different keywords, and all the ranking details, <coughs> excuse me, all the details that are involved in that.
um, all on one page. So right here you can see there are 500 matching uh, niche markets right now. So there's 500 niche markets that are listed in here and every day new ones get added and new one, and old ones get removed. So you'll, you'll see these um, start uh, moving in and out rapidly so the nice thing is is it's hard to find or it's hard to have niche markets get saturated because a lot of people aren't even paying attention to this um, and it and it makes it easy to find so let's say you wanted to filter some of these results and you want to find something that has only very easy competition we just select the very easy competition and then it will filter out all the other keywords in a 52 uh, matching niches found and then the keywords will be down the side of the page okay real easy to understand um, you now have easy niche markets that you could probably go in buy the domain and get ranked for these pretty easily and I'll just I'll show you one of these. Let's say you were to uh, click on. Let's just find a keyword here. Um, certain things like you know Zest YouTube, probably not a good one. Um, uh, this one might be good. Let's try fried cornbread and see what we can come up with. Okay, when you click that, it opens up the top ten key keywords or the top ten that are in that area. So you'll see here. You can see all the different ones and uh, break them down by searches and all of the data that we talked about just a few minutes ago. You can also click on the individual keyword and it will open this up in the analysis tool <coughs> so you can inspect it a lot uh, closer. Now this particular one is fried cornbread. Uh, it has 880 searches a month. Okay, pretty nice. Um, and you can see here it's very easy. It's got a 20.05 out of 100. Uh, and it has an exact domain available. It has a .net, .org, .info, and .us. So you could essentially come down, grab this exact match domain, put some good content up on your site, put some affiliate links or AdSense ads, and get ranked for this. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. You probably won't take number one right away, but it shouldn't be too hard, and this tool lets you know just how easy that's going to be. Okay, so pretty, pretty simple. Now, let's look at a couple more things real quick, and I'll let you get on your way so you can go get this tool. Uh, the next thing you can do, you can go to reports. You can make a report on any niche site, and I'm not going to go to there right now, um, but it, it's pretty pretty cut and dry, easy to walk through. It guides you through everything. Uh, you just put the URL on the site, and you can do that. Another thing here is Boost, and what Boost will allow you to do, and it's really cool and a pretty ingenious feature, you can actually, let me see if I can pull this up, Okay, you can see I've got some sites boosted in here already, uh, but you can just click this boost the site area, and you can go in and fill this form out, the site URL, the site title, the additional uh, site titles that you want, a little description, what keywords you'd like, okay, what keywords are important to you, select your categories, and then put in an email address and click submit uh, my boost job. Now, what you'll find will happen is... Um, over the next, um, they, they say between uh, 1 to 15 days to get in case they have a high heavy load. Usually within, a t within 48 hours, um, all, my site is completely submitted to like 100 um, different uh, directories. And what that will allow you to do is get your site out there to uh, various different directories. So you'll get more backlinks coming in, which will ultimately help you. Now, it's not going to be something where... You simply submit it to the directories, and boom, you're ranking number one, and you're making a fortune. So don't use it as that, but use it as an additional tool to help you get some backlinks and get them over time. Because when you submit to directories, they don't give you a backlink right away. It takes time for those to get discovered in the search engines uh, and in, even to get approved sometimes. So sometimes one um, link that you put onto a directory might not get found or might not even get approved for another two months or so. And then it has to get found by the search engine. So it might be three months before your backlinks from the from Boost will uh, show up. But it's just another tool to get more backlinks for your website. Okay, so just pretty cool. I just wanted to share that with you. And then if you ever need help, there's a help, there's help 
stuff here where you can go through and get help. Um, and there's tutorial videos that will show you everything I just went over in greater detail. And there's additional videos that I know they're adding in here from time to time. The final thing I want to show you here is the um, there's a couple other things just watch those tutorial videos and, and they'll break down what these do there's a keyword explorer that lets you look at um, hundreds of keywords all at once there's another one over here that's site explorer and this will let you investigate any any website that you put into it so you can look at the uh, how many social signals how many backlinks they have uh, you'll be able to explore each backlink and break it down uh, in little tiny bite-sized pieces so you can see where your competitors are getting all their links from and, and um, you'll be able to outrank them because of that because you'll be able to work on your backlinking and build, just do yours better. Okay. So this last thing I want to show you real quick is called Analyze Related Keywords and this one is pretty cool. Let's type in cat box again. Okay, we'll type in cat box and you can also select uh, deep research um, where you can get more results. Um, we'll go ahead and do that and we'll click analyze related keywords. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video because this will take a few minutes because there's 30 different um, things they have to go to go through. So let me pause this and I'll come right back because this will take longer than a normal analysis because we're going deep into it. So I'm going to pause it. I'll be back in a few minutes with you. Okay, this took about five minutes, and, and I'm back. Um, I didn't want you to have to sit through five minutes of me just talking ra about random things. So um, it does take more time when you break it down and you do it this way, when you go and do the deep research, because there's so many more keywords that the tool has to pull up all at once. So it does take a little bit more time. Okay, now what you'll be able to see here is that this tool now gave us 30... I think it was 30, 31 similar or uh, related keywords to Catbox. So it might give us, um, you know, different, uh, uh, just different long-tailed keywords that we can go in and we can look at. Now, the nice thing is this tool already tells us what the, um, what the difficulty is. And if you click one like I just did there, it will actually take you into a, the deep analysis of that keyword, just like I showed you back in the beginning of the tutorial video. Again, it comes in, uh, it shows us that this has uh, no monthly searches, okay, which isn't always correct. It's an estimate. Sometimes, you know, it just might not be getting, it might not be getting one a day. So it might get, you know, five, ten searches a month sometimes. Uh, but it's not something that's getting consistent searches. Um, and again, it breaks it down if it's easy, um, if it's hard, if it's moderate. Um, and, and then you'll be able to go through and investigate the, uh, the actual site or the actual page that's ranking for that term as well. And don't forget, it breaks down all the links. You can go in and look at all the anchor text. You can see how many social signals it has, so how many likes and tweets and Google Pluses and all the page links and site links that the site has as well. So it's a great tool to do your research, especially in the beginning when you're trying to find a niche market to get into. But it's even great if you already have a niche market going. Use this tool to really help you out. It's only available for a short time every time it's open. And right now, at the time of making this video, I think it's open for the next couple days. You can find that link below this video. Uh, it's completely up to you. If it's something that you like and, and you think will help you, grab it. I, it definitely helps me. I got mine over a year ago now, and I absolutely love it. It's one of the tools that I use. I use this with... Um, Market Samurai all the time. So two of my favorite tools, but this one is, uh, it's just different. It, it offers a different perspective than what Market Samurai does. So that's why I like to use it in conjunction. If you can't afford both, get one or the other for right now. Uh, if you can afford both at some point, get both. I, I absolutely love both. Anyway, again, my name is Michael Brown. Uh, from michaelsbrown.com. You can also find me at uh, nicheblitzkrieg.com and you can find me at nicheoptimizer.com as well. So I have all kinds of courses out there, all kinds of training for you to get involved in. And if you're interested in this, it's keyword K9 2.0. You can find that link and all the other sites I just mentioned right below this video. Enjoy and uh, have a fantastic day.